more familiar for you users to select a file and um, upload it. So I'm going to save that. So um, this next part is he wants to be able to assign users an email. Um, instead of putting a column here, I can relate it to a user. So whenever they sign up, that user's email is already assigned to that user. So you don't have to enter it twice. You don't have to worry about any extra data. So I'm going to go ahead and set up a user. Um, so let's set up a user relationship here. So um, now we have our full member pod. As it stands, it's very simple, very um, to the point. Now what if I wanted to go and add a member real fast? And I'll just pretend it's me. Oh yeah, it, does anyone have any questions? So, so. The uh, data types under column type, number, URL, things like that. Is validation or masking possible? So you can validate a number has always got two decimal places, or you can mask a phone number to xxx dash xxxx. Uh, yes, with the input field um, helper, um, you can add a field, the normal field that you can enter into, and then that will drop for validation uh, however you see fit. So you can say, okay, if it's not this one, add in the regex, make sure it is. And you can also do Each pod has three things. It has a um, name uh, column, and it has an ID column, which is related to the table. So that's specific to the table, so no pod uh, item under member has more than one of the same ID, and that's just the table ID. Um, we'll get to that part when we uh, implement it. But uh, also there's a pod ID, which is no pod item, no matter what, if it's a member or a state or whatever, it, each one has their own unique identifier. So uh, you can use both of those inside the templates in how way you wish. Add a member. Um, just really fast. I'm not going to do a photo or anything because this uploader is pretty crappy. Um, and I don't have any images on my computer right now. So um, I'm just going to do it myself because it's easy.
And by the way, um, this form right here you can put on your website, so we'll get to that part in a minute too. I'm just showing you how it is uh, uh, related and how you can manage it on the back end. And right here you can see that Tony has three <laughs> usernames. <laughs> All right, so I added a new one. Uh, what I want to do is I want to go browse. Okay, here's a list of the users currently, and so far it's just me. So let's see when it was last modified, um, what pod it belongs to. But things can get a little more complex. So what if I want to make that its own section, uh, just like post pages? I can do a top little menu checkbox here on the pod, and I'll tell it to be members. Now the pod name is member, but if I define the label here differently it will be members and it will stick on the navigation side of the menu. So let's refresh now. And there it is. So it has its own section so you don't have a cross-contamination between other pods. Uh, again, we are working on this interface. I've developed a prototype that I'm using right now um, that is, it looks just like the WordPress um, uh, page and uh, management here. So it looks just like this. Um, so we're working on that and things will be a lot more complicated. Uh, Customizable, but for now, uh, this is what it looks like. And you can edit that member and very easily change stuff. All right, so next, how do we display members? And uh, let me go ahead and add someone. Let me add Tony real fast. Just so we have them out, just me, so you can see that it works. If I edit me right now, um, it's going to see a modification date on that, and you'll see me up here above Tony, because right now it's sorted by mem uh, modified, date modified. So again, we'll be changing that so you can custom sort, uh, custom show what fields you want to show on that, that editing screen. All right, so displaying it on your site, um, it's not that complex. It's um, really very simple once you just follow these steps. All right, so um, let's say we want to have a members <coughs> section. And this is just going to be a list of members. It's not going to be their details. It's just going to be names, maybe a photo, or we can use your gravitar. And then we add another one, and we're going to use wildcard. And what the wildcard is, that asterisk, is basically it's saying anything after members is going to be pulled into this pod page. And if I go back and say I want to make sure that Samuel I want to make sure that this page pulls up ahead of time and no one can overwrite that. That can happen also because wildcards are short URLs and the URLs that pull up for the wildcard matching are sorted by length. So you can overwrite things. So for this instance, we're going to use members slash star. Uh, and then add a page. We'll go back to the members. So we have a couple different sections here. We have the uh, main code here, which is just your content area. And you have pre-code, which is optional. This means like, if you want to have your own ad and edit forms on your website and you want to restrict it to a specific user or user level or make sure they're logged in, uh, you can do that here by saying like, for instance, uh, if, I'm gonna make sure if they're not logged in, they're gonna be redirected. So now, if I save this and someone goes to the members page and they're not logged in, they're not going to see it because they're going to be redirected to the home page. That's why I told it right there. Um, the great thing about the pre-code is it's run before any output is run uh, on your site, before your theme processes anything, before anything. So they won't have a chance to get any, any code that you have on your site. It's not JavaScript. It's pure PHP right inside a WordPress's um, redirect loop. And then I'm going to take that out so you guys can see it if you want to take a look at it. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with uh, the member spot. So I'm going to initiate it real fast. It, and this code can be really um, reused anywhere. It's very simple. Um, so it, I'm going to keep it very simple. 